Hello. It's um today is June 1st, 2021. It's Tuesday, June 1st, 2021 at 6:14 a.m. <clears throat> so today is our deceased biological dad author's birthday. Um let's see. Um I, I, I'm, hmm, I, I don't know how old he would have been. Um, he would have been 90 years old, I guess. Wow, already? So, um, yeah, him and the biological mom, Francis, died exactly two months and five days apart. And for them to say that the family to say that author is not me, Brandy, and Sean's dad, because we're not light skinned like them. I mean, why am I receiving Social Security from his name? And I mean, off his record for years. And also, it seemed like I almost died the same day that he died. So. I almost died that day. So, um, the biological mom, Francis' birthday is January 11th, and they both died. Like, the biological mom, Francis, died two days after the biological brother, Wyatt's birthday. And then the biological dad, Arthur, died on the foster sister, April's birthday. Um, so... It's like, yeah, the biological dad been very, like, when he was very old, and the biological mom, Frances, was like almost 17 years younger than him. You know, so I got almost no sleep last night, very little. Very, very little sleep. That's that, um, that Masonic nosy perp that be sitting out there almost every morning. And the moment I pass by, he walks inside. You see that white car right there? I don't know if that's his son that drives around with one head like... <clears throat> But that's the guy that will occasionally wear the red shirt, the red Nike shirt that says more money. And it's always whenever I'm dirt broke <coughs> is when he will wear that shirt. So my teeth still hurt. And I forgot that some people say that simply salt water can help, like, Swishing salt water in your mouth can help. Or coconut oil. And certain other natural remedies. My teeth, I mean, all my gums and everything was hurting so bad. So, um, being homeless, most homeless people in this country forced to wake up, whether in a shelter or on the streets most homeless sh people are forced to wake up at five o'clock in the morning five between five and six and i really um uh, and then we get criminalized for sleeping at the park during the day so i mean and being targeted if you do try to sleep during the day at a park or something, then you have to deal with, for, forced to be forced against your will to deal with noise campaign. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm, I felt the need to talk and express how I feel at the moment. But it's like I'm feeling psychologically and mentally slowed right now. Um, 
I'm feeling slowed. But this morning, a few minutes ago, there was a red big truck that I didn't get to catch it on film. And it said G-R-O-E-N-D-Y-K-E. And it had, it was a big 18-wheeler, what looked like it was carrying fuel. And it said, and it had one headlight. And I wish I could have caught it. But um, in the middle of the night, all throughout the middle of the night and last, since last night, I had to, um, every, every attempt at trying to go to sleep, um, every attempt at trying to go to sleep, um, they would vibrate all my organs, excruciating torture would vibrating my organs. And the fake T.I. perps, all they can say is just ignore it. Um, so, the main people telling you to ignore all your gang stalking and all your electronic torture and whatever abuse you're going through, to just simply ignore. Those are the main ones who act like they don't believe my targeting and they call me fake and think that I'm full of drama and everything that I'm just best to be avoided because I'm full of negativity and I'm just a Debbie Downer, a negative Nancy, and a petty Betty. You know, they had one fake T.I. perp and a regular perp try to, um, like, I already told y'all about the guy, or you no, know, I think it was a female who, who told me that I'm better off not being alive, and that, um, oh, you're so miserable, you can't even have a good time at the beach, why don't you... you have, have you ever thought that you'd be better off not being alive? Or something like that, she said. And then this fake T.I. perp, when well, he sounded like a fake T.I. perp named Ronald Soriano, tried to say, um, oh, just ignore the gang stalkers and enjoy the beach. And you, you ought to be lucky because in here in Miami, there's a whole bunch of dead animals and stuff, and, I, and we can't even swim in our, in our beaches and stuff like that. So, I mean, how can he say that when I've seen recent videos of people swimming and going to the beach at my, in Miami? So, uh, you know, people think, damn, girl, you at the beach to have a good time and you still complaining. No, the, the perps know what they're doing. They want to make sure I don't get to have a good time. And I'm freaking exposing that like any other real target would do. You know, so, um, almost everybody has turned into a perp. Yeah, I see you. You make sure you want to come park near me. Pretend to fake park near me. But, um, my heart feels slowed and I could they made sure I couldn't sleep. That I I was prevented from sleeping with the um electronic torture, um, with the director energy weapons and stuff like that. And I think I did mention that they kept um shocking and zapping my ear really bad a lot yesterday. And also like the usual, the two right two toes on my right foot that I know is electronic harassment and not I, I know it's um I know it's electronic harassment and not um I know it's not see how she just sitting in her car I, I know it's um electronic harassment and not um arthritis you know because this it's um you know, off and on for a few seconds. So, even my twin sister thinks that I'm super fucking nuts and crazy um, for talking about for talking about being attacked by the do weapons and trying to make it like she doesn't think that they that they exist. And one person that called me, I mean, one person that tried to defend me, she tried to. Call, like dog them out, dog him out and abuse him and tell him he's crazy and need medication as well. That's a perp thing to do. 
you know, and try to say you're part of the problem. I mean, you, you, she lying, says she's not a perp or making like she doesn't know about gang stalking, but she, she does everything like a textbook gang stalker, you know. So I'm not allowed to have not one person to defend me, believe me, or be on my side, but she can have a whole cult following. Like she delusionally believes she's more worthy than me, more deserving than me, and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, that that lady, that white lady, in that um Honda SUV, seemed like she just come over there to quote unquote mon fake monitor me, and she still got her um LED lights on. <clears throat> so I mean. I'm fighting for my voice to be heard as a real target and being mocked, shunned, and ignored by people who supposed to, other people who supposed to be real targets as well. They go along with the who's popular and the popular fake T.I. purposes who, who's like perping and um, trying to destroy me. Um, that's who they go after and believe. So... Um, that's what that's what will happen. Like, if somebody can, like in 2017, <clears throat> they were causing me sleep deprivation when I was new at my place. Um, after um, I moved back to New Orleans from Greenville, South Carolina, and I was living in Jefferson, Louisiana. And when I was living there, <clears throat> and they were hitting me in the heart with the energy weapons, forcing my blood pressure to be extra high. Oh, now that I mention that, now they make the wind, make it super windy on purpose. I hope y'all can hear me. <clears throat> um, they they forced my blood pressure to be like the wait the top number. But they would make it super high, and the bottom number would be super low. And it was like 184 over 70 something, over 78 or something like that. And I'm begging and pleading for help. And they have these pregnant nurses who who think that they're the pregnant nurses who think that their cigarette um that their cigarette break is more important than my medical emergency. And me crying out for help, feeling like afraid that I'm gonna die of a heart attack. And also them hitting me all in my head, you know, hello, with the directed energy weapons, really bad, hitting me all in my head. And, um, you know, making me fearful that I have I'm about to have a heart attack, keeping me asleep deprived for 18 days or something like that, or for a long time. And then, um, felt like my heart would be about to explode and then the doctors would say that oh um your heart is slightly larger than normal that's that perp that drive a one oh i just missed in that red truck with one headlight <clears throat> um so saying that my heart is slightly larger than normal and then try to say that all the symptoms that I'm going through is just anxiety. And then they try to give me or blame everything on GERD. Well, I had some acid reflux symptoms too, but I heard that that was that acid reflux symptoms and they manipulate your stomach and stuff can be related to um, some of the gang stalking experience. I mean, the uh, director energy weapons. It's like never underestimate the power of do weapons. And the first thing that they'll blame it on is suicide, or they'll try to scapegoat and lie and say you have bad health problems. I heard that some targeted individuals were manually given some kind of way AIDS or diabetes. And um, that's that same white truck that's kind of near. That, that, that white truck was bright in their lights. Um, so, they'll easily scapegoat your hospitalization or death or whatever, or your illness. A lot of the times, they will um, scapegoat and blame it on 
you having a so so called bad diet or you not taking care of yourself or or like or you being schizophrenic and not t- taking care of yourself and, and or that you poisoned yourself on purpose or you did this or you did that when they're when they're the ones poisoning you i mean so Both that that lady and that whoever that is in that white truck, they're both just sitting in their vehicles. And here's a third car coming up. Look like their lights are bright too. But um, maybe they, I don't even know if they're early. Yeah, if they're super early for their job, if they work here. But if not, then I mean, just because I mean they have perps who work here at this building. So. Um, I woke up, my teeth on my left side still hurt, and, um, in the middle of the night, I've been attacked by whatever that bites, or whatever animals, I mean, whatever, um, insects that were biting me was uncomfortable, excruciating torture, that didn't feel like natural mosquito bites. Like, they they didn't feel like natural mosquito bites. <clears throat> Noise harassment. Somebody manually turned that on on purpose to run me away. Hi. And I'm standing on the sidewalk. I'm not trespassing on private property. Hold on, y'all. Well, I can't, um... Yeah, I think that that was a, a clue to shut up. A clue to get me to shut up. Or run away. You know... So, hold on right quick. I hope y'all can still hear me. So, I've been feeling like too exhausted because of the sleep deprivation. Yeah, they did that on purpose. And, and, You hear how that's super loud. <clears throat> wow, I'm so sorry, y'all. Hold up. Guess I can't walk fast enough. Well, I'm gonna have to turn this off. <clears throat> 